What's up again, everybody? I just wanted to present some thought that I had earlier. That the earth is like a flower in bloom. If you look at a time-lapse version of, say, Pangea to where we're at today, and you imagine everything blossoming, exploding. A flower blooms like a little firework, but to us it takes a long time. You put it on a time lapse and everything changes. If you put the time of the earth and its life, its brief history here in the universe, compared to the length of the universe, the breadth, the size, the intensity of it all, it's a mere blip in time. Not just a human life, and not just human beings in general on earth, but the earth itself is just a blip in time. So to someone to where time had a longer perspective, the earth could appear to just be a firework. Gone. Just a thought. Just wanted to share it. I think these things quite often, when I picture how we think things are so permanent, you know, rocks, but over time they decay. Everything decays. Everything falls apart. It's, um, I thought of this little, uh, little quote yesterday. I said, are you an annual or a perennial? Plant a seed in your heart and find out. <laughs> Just kind of reminded me of that. I thought, um, I had the weirdest thought earlier that maybe nature, you know, people are like, why are humans here? We've talked about whether bacteria control us, if we're their gods, there are gods, or, you know, whether we are just carriers of species because we have more bacteria than our own cells. And it got me thinking that, did humans just evolve to transport species around the world, to homogenize the world? Just a weird thought I had. Uh, probably not, obviously not, but, you know, whatever. It's worth thinking. Anyway, this will be a short video because uh, I'm still uh, I'm still thinking about the last one I made, and uh, I probably have some more frustration to uh, to unleash about the current system and paradigm. <laughs> I'll talk.